Today we have the classic vintage game, Don't Spill the Beans. Looks like it was a yard sale for 50 cents here. But they couldn't sell it at the yard sale, so they gave it to the thrift store. And the thrift store jacked it up to $2, and then they made money off of me. Well, <laughs> anyway, it's a classic game, vintage game, by Sharper. Pronounced shopper. Okay. Anyway, here's the rules. If anybody needs that, because you are too dumb to figure out how to play uh, Don't Spill the Beans. You got this thing. You got this little... You got these different cups. So it's up to four players can play. You got this little thing that goes right here. If up to four players can play, why is there only two sides? I don't know. Anyway, it's all dirty and stuff. But it, had, it has these actual beans, which are real beans. You could grow these, maybe. But look at all these beans. So each player, I guess you divide either two players or four players to play in. You divide the beans. This thing right here, I think, goes on top. This thing goes on top, maybe, I think. I think so, but I think the beans go in the pot. <laughs> spin it. See how many fall out. You put this stupid thing on the top. Anyway, you put this stupid thing on the top. Then you divide the beans by the amount of players. We got blue, green, yellow, pink. And you put... Pink instead of red, huh? It's usually blue. Ooh, the beans. What kind of beans are these? They're beans. So you got all these beans. Which you should put it in a plastic bag because, you know, you don't want to lose your beans, right? I'm surprised it even had beans. I'm not even sure if these are the actual beans that went with the game originally. Maybe they are, maybe not. Anyway, what you do is each player puts a damn bean on. You keep, you know, putting beans on. Each player, one at a time, puts a bean on. You keep putting more beans on. And supposedly you get enough beans on one side or the other it makes this thing right here move and chip. Which that was me tipping it. You saw that. That was me. And then the other side gets the beans that fell over and the other side gets the beans that fell off and then when one person runs out of beans that person wins and it's like a the deduction game. It's like a uh oh it's gonna fall. Uh oh it's gonna fall. And I'm falling I'm dropping beans everywhere. Which is what happens when kids play don't spill the beans. They literally spill the beans everywhere. Yeah they drop them all over the floor. <laughs> that side lost for sure. For sure. But see, some of them sometimes fall on the other side, so you know. Okay. Now, for advanced game, I guess you could just get rid of the stupid black thing. And you could literally put them in the bean counter, which I'm not you sure if that's. You can't spin it if you don't. You're not supposed to spin it! Oh, it dropped off. It's supposed to just fill it up until it falls on one side or the other. But if you do it this way, I don't think it's going to fall on either side because I'm almost out of beans. So that doesn't work, but you can do this. I don't think you're supposed to do that, Mom. Nope. Okay, so that's you not... You figured it out on your own. So, basically, you put this stupid thing on in. So I don't know why they just attach it on their own and make it stay attached. <laughs> And you got this little picture of these boy and girl playing Don't Spill the Beans on the Don't Spill the Beans thing.
Then you got these neat little pretty hard sturdy plastic uh, tray things which you could actually use. And then you got this great box artwork. And you got this boy and his girl and, and they totally messed up on this. Just check this out. Check this out. Alright. Alright, check this out. The guy, the boy is on the side where the beans didn't spill and he's like, Oh no, I spilled all the beans. And the girl is on the side where the beans spilled. And she's like, Yay, I won. Uh, shouldn't that be the opposite way? When you spill the beans on your side, you lost. Not yay, I won. And it's not like, oh no, I spilled the beans. You spilled the beans on your sister's side, which made her lose, doofus. Anyway, shh, I digress. I think they messed up on that box. It's kind of neat how they just, you know, like fit in here like perfect and stuff. Everything like fits like perfect in their own little spots. It's all, I guess I, the bag is supposed to hit here and the beans are supposed to go in a bag. Oh, it's like the only thing that's missing is the, is the bean bag. The bean bag! The bag holds the beans. So that's been Don't Spill the Beans. Don't. And they really want to emphasize that it's called Don't Spill the Beans because it's right here and it's right here and it's like wrote all over the box and whatnot. And let's read the rules and see if I actually explained the rules correctly, which I think I did, but let's do it anyway. Hey, you can read along with me. Don't spill the beans. Copyright 1967 by Schaefer Manufacturing Company Incorporation, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55427. Two or more players. I'll choose the game to be the first player to get rid of all the, his beans. See, right there, women are not allowed to play. Sexist says his beans. I think they mean their beans. Using his in the generic sense. Before starting the game, divide the beans equally among the players. See, I told you that right. Equal pals. Position the bean pot so that the top is perfectly level. Okay. Note, in playing the game, the lid is left off the on the pot and the beans are placed on top of the lid. See? Yeah, I was doing that right. How to play. Each player in turn drops one bean onto the top of the pot. After a few beans are added, the player must be very careful where he places his bean so as not to upset the balance and spill the beans. When a player does spill the beans, he must add the spilled beans to the beans he already has. And the game continues. The player who runs out of beans first wins the game. Note, the pot may be used for bean storage when game is not in use. Non-toxic. Other Schaefer games include Cootie. Man, you know that classic game, Cootie, man? Cootie, man. Cootie. Gives you cooties every time you play it. Because that's the game cootie. Tickle me! Tickle me! Don't tickle me! Tickle the bee! Tickle me! Tickle me! Tickle me! Then we got Tumble Bug! Tumble Bug! Then we got Stadium Chickas! And Skunk! And Deuce! Deuces! And Whirly Bird! Whirly Bird! Whirly Bird! Then we got Monkeys and Coconuts! And then we got put and take. Instead of give and take, it's put and take. Put and take. Put and take. And then we got pig in the garden. Then we got king of the hill before it was even a cartoon show. It was a board game. That's an interesting fun fact that I just learned today. And then we got voodoo doll. And then we got dog be gone. Not dog gone it, but dog be gone. Then we got clean sweep. And many more. Which you can find in catalog number 340, they tell you. Where is this catalog? I gotta get this catalog. It's probably got pictures and, uh, and descriptions of the games and everything. Man, I would love to have that catalog. And I'm not being facetious. I want that damn catalog. It was a member of the Toy Manufacturers of America. And there's the Toy Manufacturers of America seal. Back when everything was made in America. Not Japan and China and Korea and who knows where. So that was Don't Spill the Beans. 
And they used to, they didn't have no descriptions on the back of some of these old school games. But that was cool. And they saved space by putting the rules on the box. But they still wasted all this space. Look at all this space wasted. Man. It's just one of my pet peeves, but they've been wasting space since the beginning of creating games. Big old West box. Little bitty ass amount of product. This thing right here, is, and, and all this right here. Let's, let's, let's see how much space we actually need to hold everything. That's it. Because the beans go in this pot thing. We don't even need that much space. That's it. That's all, everything can fit in that little bitty amount of space, which is like half the box size. You could probably use a box that was the size of this thing right here that holds everything to actually fit everything, which this takes up about half the space of the box. Maybe less. Let's, let's look at it again. Well, apparently the box is ripping up on me. All right. Yeah, that's half the box. So they could have got everything in half the size of the box. Half the box. Ugh. Wasteful. They could have even written those rules on half of a box. Those rules are just, they would have had to, you know, maybe make them smaller. But I'm pretty sure we could have got. Yeah, see that? They just covered up the whole entire rules. They could have got the rules on the back of this thing. They could have literally did this whole thing with half the size of the box. Oh my gosh. Uh, sorry, but that wasting space thing is a pet peeve of mine, by the way, guys. If you haven't noticed it by now, you should have noticed it after this video. Anyway, remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Jesus loves you. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Keep on gaming. Keep on cooking beans. And when you make beans, don't spill them. And keep on playing cool games and classic games and vintage games. I guess this is a vintage game. And uh, game on and collect on. And don't spill on. Definitely don't spill on. Later, guys and gals. Have a great day.